Hello everyone, FedEx Gaming here and welcome back to another Redstone tutorial. In this video, I'll be showing you how to build a secret room underneath a clock. So here's a little makeshift clock that I've put together, but we don't care about the clock. We care about the secret room underneath it. So all we have to do is open up our clock, come right inside the clock, and then we can close. It doesn't really matter. Place a Redstone torch right on the block that's below us, and we will go down into our secret room that is underneath our clock and then you can do whatever you like down here it's completely up to you and if you want to close it up all you have to do is click this button so now no one knows that there is a secret room underneath your clock however once you are ready to leave once you got done with everything that you had to do down here all you have to do is re-click this button once again step onto the platform click the button once again and you'll be transported back up like nothing was there so there's the entire secret room underneath the clock so here's the redstone behind this lift all we have to do is place our redstone torch here and it will activate this dropper right here dropping the item into a dropper below it which will activate the entire door by hitting this monostable circuit so once i place this down boom the monostable circuit goes off and our lift goes down and then once we want to close it up all we have to do is click this button and it will close up the clock and then of course we can click it again and it will open it up so let me go ahead and do that one more time i'll go ahead and close it up and i'll place down my redstone torch and this will open up the lift so let's go ahead and start building this thing guys all right guys so for this build you're going to need a three by eight spacing and you're also going to have to dig down eight now that red stained clay block is the exact spot where your clock is going to be going going now the resources you're going to need now i'm going to be splitting this up into two little things the first set of resources you're going to need is for the redstone and then the second set is going to be for the clock itself so the resources you're going to need for this build are four sticky pistons one normal piston two droppers one redstone comparator five redstone repeaters one block of redstone one redstone torch 10 redstone dust one button we're also going to need 10 immovable objects i'm going to be using furnaces you can also use obsidian we are also going to need five slime blocks one piece of sand one stone slab or any slab you really want to use and a wooden shovel now that's the resources for the redstone of the clock now for the resources for the clock itself you're going to need one minecart one armor stand two item frames one block of gold we're also going to need two spruce doors one jungle door three jungle wood stairs one clock two powered rails, and jungle planks. So once you've gotten your three by eight spacing and gathered up all your resources, come to the bottom left-hand corner. I'm gonna count up three blocks to this red stained clay block. So one, two, three. Place a sticky piston here, here, and here. Next up, take out your slime blocks and place three slime blocks right along your sticky pistons. And then right where that red stained clay block is, we're gonna come up two more slime blocks here. One, two. Next up, take out the color of choice you wanna use for the bottom of your clock. I'm going to be using a jungle planks. I'm gonna place a jungle plank right on top of that slime block. Next, we're gonna come to the right-hand side of our sticky pistons, and we're gonna place three blocks right here. And then the one furthest away from our jungle plank, we're gonna place a repeater here on four ticks delay. Next up, take out your immovable objects. I'm gonna be using furnaces, or you can use obsidian. And we're gonna place two immovable objects right here. Then off the middle one, we're gonna place down some redstone dust by going into sneak mode. And then over here, we're gonna place in a repeater on two ticks delay. So two ticks, a piece of redstone, and then a four tick delay repeater down here. Next up, we're going to place blocks right behind all of these. So one, two, and three. And then we're going to place redstone along every single one. So now if I place a lever right here and test it out, it should fully extend up flush to the floor. So as you can see, we are flush to the floor. And then when I flip it up, it should retract all the way back down into its normal state. So all the way up and all the way down. So now that we've gotten that into place, what I want you to do is just flip this lever down just for now. And we're going to go ahead and place in our redstone torch key. That will activate the top part once we place our torch here. So we're going to come over here to the backhand side and we're going to take out our droppers. Make sure they're droppers, not dispensers. And place a dropper facing downwards. And then we're going to place another dropper facing back upwards into that dropper. Then off the top dropper, we're going to place in our wooden shovel. Next up, we're going to come off of the bottom dropper right here. And we're going to place a block one down from this dropper. So come over one block, make sure to break that block. And then we're going to have a comparator coming out of this dropper like this. Place a block in front of your comparator. Next up, we're going to have to take out a slab and place a slab upside down right here. Place a piece of redstone off that slab. Then we're going to place a block right here with a repeater going this way on one tick delay. And then next up, we're going to place a block right in front of that repeater. So now if I place a redstone torch right here, it will update this dropper, pushing the item down there and activating the redstone right here. So all you have to do is place your redstone torch. And as you can see, everything activated. So I'm going to do it again, place the redstone torch and everything activates. So that's exactly what we want. So now all we have to do is hook this into a monostable circuit and then hook that monostable circuit down here to activate our lift. So to hook everything together, we're going to come right down here and then underneath where this comparator is. So right underneath where this comparator is, we're going to place a block right here and place a piece of redstone off this block. Now come back over to this side. Then right where our block is with our redstone, we're going to come down another block, place another piece of redstone right off of that. Place a piston facing upwards with a sand block in front of it. That will create our monostable circuit. Next up, we're going to place a block coming out from that with a repeater going this way on one tick delay. 
place a sticky piston facing downwards from that repeater with a redstone block in front of it. Now all we have to do is bring this line over to this redstone block and that will be everything. So just bring it out two more blocks, place down two pieces of redstone, and that is it guys, you are completely done with the lift. So now all we have to do is just break this lever right here. And oops, actually I forgot we have to put in our button as well. So right here where this block is, we're gonna place down another block right here. Place a repeater going into this block on one tick delay. Next up, we're gonna take out our flooring block. This is your flooring. You can use whatever blocks you want here. Just place a flooring block right behind your repeater. Then we're gonna come down another block right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this. And we're gonna place a block right here with a piece of redstone on top of it. And now this, again, you can choose whatever block you want here. It's completely up to you. You know, I'm gonna go ahead and just use quartz. We're gonna place a quartz block right above this redstone. And then we're gonna place a button off of this block. And that's going to be our button underneath. So if I click the button, it goes up. If I click the button again, it goes down. And then if it's up, I can go ahead and place my torch on top of it. And the torch key should be working. So boom, it goes down. So I have to click this to make it go back up. I'll do it one more time. Place the torch down and it goes down. So now all that's left to do is make our clock and then clean up the entire area. All right, guys. So get things started off with our clock. We're going to place in our armor stand first. So we're going to come right back here, place another block. And we're going to place in two power rails. So one, two, just like that. And then right here, we're going to place in an armor stand sideways. So this is going to be the front of our clock and that's going to be the armor stand. Now you want the straightest armor stand. So just keep placing an armor stands until you get a nice straight one. These are all horrible. So hopefully I get one sooner or later. Nope. And nope. And there we go. That one is perfect. That's the one we want. Or you can get even one that's even better than this, but that I just don't feel like looking for it. <laughs> Next up, we're going to place your minecart off the back and we're going to push our armor stand until it's about halfway. We just want to see this front part of the armor stand and that's it. So we're just going to hit our minecart until we can only see that front part. The best way to know what you're doing, if you're doing it right, is to just place a block like this and once it's poking out from the side of this block just a tiny bit we should be absolutely fine so just keep hitting it until it's poking out from the side of that block just a tiny tiny bit so oh that is way too much i <laughs> i went way too far there so we're gonna go ahead and place another power rail here and place a minecart and now we can start pushing it back this way and hopefully that is still too short so i'm gonna try this once again i'm gonna go ahead and just push it this is probably the most annoying part we just want it poking out just a tiny bit just a tiny bit from it, just a little bit more, and I think we'll be golden. I think we'll be golden if I push it just a tiny bit more, and is it going to move? Nope, I got to just, just tap it in, and hopefully that's good. And yes, that looks perfect. What we want is just a tiny bit of this part sticking out just like that. So now we can go ahead and break all of this. We no longer need any of this. Next up, we're going to bring our blocks all the way up. And we're going to place a staircase in normally. Make sure you are facing the front part of your staircase towards the front of your clock. This is going to be the front of my clock. So make sure your staircase is facing backwards. Next up, we're going to place a piston facing downwards. Send power to your piston. And then place in a staircase upside down. And then send power to your piston once again. And now we can go ahead and break all of this. It's no longer needed. Then off the bottom right here, we're going to place in an item frame off the bottom corner. So look at the bottom corner. Place in an item frame. And then right here at the bottom corner, still looking at the bottom corner, we're going to place in our gold block like this it should be right here at the bottom corner we should be able to place it in there we go so there is our clock now what we're going to do is place in the top part of our clock next up take out the flooring of choice you're going to be using i'm just going to go ahead and use a dark oak wood planks you can use whatever you like here it's completely up to you and then we're going to place in our spruce door off of this block right here like that and then we want them to look exactly the same so make sure your doors look the exact same on both sides so if i went like this as you can see one's facing inward like that and then one's facing like that we don't want that so the best way to get rid of that is just to place a door here and then place another door here and now as you can see both doors are facing the exact same way on both sides then right off the front i'm going to go ahead and place in my jungle door like i said you can use whatever doors you like here but this is the exact clock that i'm going with and now we're going to go ahead and take out our staircases i'm going to be using a jungle stairs and we're going to place a jungle staircase right above it like this then we're going to come to the front place in our item frame place our clock off the front of our item frame and there you guys have it there is your hidden clock now we can go ahead and put a little border around our clock as well just to make it look nice i'm going to go ahead and use quartz blocks i'm going to place my quartz blocks all the way around now we can't place a quartz block here because our armor stand is in the way so you have to come up a block like this take out another piston place your piston downwards and then send power to it and there's a nice little frame around our clock so i'm gonna go ahead and just fill in the rest of this floor right here so we don't have to see any of that so now if i want to go inside my clock all i have to do is open it up come right in here take out a redstone torch place down my redstone torch and the clock should work now what we're going to do is clean up the inside so to get things started off with our inside we're going to have to place immovable objects along this entire path right here because the slime blocks can attach to them so i'm going to be using furnaces you can use obsidian as well so i'm going to place my furnaces inwards so i don't have to see the front of them or if you want to if you want to use these furnaces when you come down you can place them like this maybe you want to have uh, some sort of secret base down here so having the furnaces there can actually help you 
So next up, I'm gonna place my other furnaces going this way. But like I said, I'm just going with it so it just looks nice. I don't want to use the actual furnaces. So we're gonna go like that and that. And then we're gonna come to the back side over here and place in another furnace right back here. So now it looks nice and even. Then what I also like to do is place down three furnaces right here. So one, two, and three, just like that. And there is all our removable objects. Now the rest is completely up to you guys. You can do whatever you like. That is everything you are completely done. So you can choose your walling of choice. You can use your flooring of choice. It's completely up to you. You can make it go down like I did over there. But there you have it. So here is my secret base. It's it's kind of small here. But when I'm ready to leave my little secret base underneath my clock, just click this button and I go back up and I can leave my clock. And then, of course, once I want to go back down here, all I have to do is open up my clock, come right in here, place down my redstone torch, and I'll be transported down into my secret base. So there you guys have it. That is how you build a secret room underneath a clock. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Stay tuned with my newest videos. All right, guys. Boop. Peace.